This is the Iron Trader and TGIF. Wow, for a shortened week, it's been a really good trading week here this week. Okay, so as usual, we are going to review here crude oil and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, buy at the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, the key here to the upside is right here, okay? You're looking at 88.08. If you can close above, that's the key, not just intraday, but if you can close above, then we always look to the left of the chart. So what we want to look at here, we want to look at this candle right here. Okay, so you're looking at um, uh, 88.68, and then we come over here. Okay, you're looking at um, 89.24, and then we have 89.84, and then you have 90.10. Okay, that's going to be the next layer here. You can see how many small, how much resistance here uh, was in that area. So that's going to be next. Now again, if you can get above that, then we look right to this candle here. You're looking at 91.35. We have 92.87, and then your big retest on your next level is 93.74. Okay, so that's your big target. So anytime it runs up, the price runs up and then comes down and retests it. And can't get through that's a nice double top then it sells right off okay that tells you where well, you got to go short okay but all this resistance here look at all these candles right here see this that is going to be key level right there so that's what you want to watch always look to the chart on left of the charts there so you're looking right around 90 10 this is the area where you have all this big resistance level okay now that's the upside so let's look at what happens on the downside if this comes off well, right now we just have a sideways action here. So basically what we wanna do is we had a little bit lower low today and a lower high there so far. So you wanna to look to that low uh, right here, uh, yesterday's low first, okay? So you wanna look at um, 86.39, and then we come down here to this low right here. You're looking at 86.15, um, right here is looking at 85.93, and then we look at this key level up here is always look to this candle here, that's 84, uh, 89. Even though your 8 SMA here is a little bit higher, it can always come through there. But this look at that because that would be the retest. Okay. So now your key support levels here is going to be this 21 or this 8 SMA here sitting at 85, 15. And then obviously, uh, you know, if, if that is lost here, then we just follow these candles right on down here. So you basically got 83, 69 here. You have um, uh, 83, 46. And then you got a nice... 21 SMA sitting here at 82.29. Uh, but this pattern here looks very, very nice. See how it's rolling right on up here. As soon as that price crosses below that 8 SMA here, then she comes right on down here. But right now, you just got sideways action here. We got to see what's going to happen here, uh, you know, like on a Friday. All right. Now, this RSI here, I want you to always keep your eye on the RSI here. You're right in really overbought conditions here. But again, that doesn't mean you can't stay there. Okay, so see how it went out, came down, and it, it's hanging right around that 70 area here. Okay, that doesn't mean you can't stay there. And on your MACD, you got a really nice bullish cross going on right here. So this is all right now very, very bullish chart here. The key, I say, is going to be a close above that uh, uh, 8808 to move higher. Now, again, you know, with uh, seasonality here, you got all the way to the end of the, uh, uh, of the month here. Uh, for hurricane season here before you want to look at a, a shorting uh, uh, object there. Okay. All right. Let's take a look here at the uh, uh, weekly and a monthly chart. Okay. Your monthly chart here. Now you can see this is going to be your key level right here. Okay. Sitting at 86.84. Currently your price is sitting at 87.48. So you are definitely above that price. Uh, so very good. Uh, your monthly chart here is looking very good. It's very early yet, but you're above all these key a, uh, SMAs here. Uh, you're pretty much just attached to that 21. So we got to see how that's all going to shake out here. Okay, here on your weekly chart here. Well, okay, see your support level here now is going to be this uh, 85, 84 here. And then we come down here to this level here, uh, 84, 89 which is basically right there. And then this is gonna be key level 83.53 here. And then your eight SMA here, sitting at 82.19. Uh, if it sells right on down here, right now this is looking very, very bullish here. Your eight day is crossed right above all your SMAs here. Your 21 day, everything is moving up very nicely. Um, so this is looking very, very 
uh, bullish here. The key is going to be that 8808 on the daily chart you need to close above. Now, just for uh, for down the road, just always keep on your back burner. When this sells, and it will sell down, you're not going to stay at these prices here, uh, you know, forever. When it does sell down, watch this 8 SMA here. That's your key level here. And then watch the bottom of that candle there. Um, you're sitting at uh, a 79.34, and then watch this 50 SMA, 78.19, and then your 76.24 is your 21 SMA here. Okay, now below that, if this is lost, this is your target right here, 68.77. So you can see how it hells that 200 day. It's very, very key level here on the weekly chart. And then below that, you got 63.64 here. Okay, so don't get too complacent here on there because you know oil is, is basically, it's a trader, okay? It's gonna go up, but it's not gonna stay up forever. The economy can only hold so much. And remember, you got election there next year. So they wanna try to somehow get the oil prices down, gasoline prices down to actually make it look like they're actually doing something. All right, so let's take a look here at the old Natty Gas. Okay, Natty Gas, your hourly and your four hour chart. Okay, well, you know, yesterday we had a nice sell down, came right down to the 250 flat. Now, I've always been pointing out this level right here, okay? If you look at the bottom of this candle uh, right here, basically what you're looking at is 2.457. It got down to a lower one at 2.42, but it closed up with that red dog candle there. Okay, so that was a really, really nice double bottom that she ran up nice. Now, when it sold down again here, you notice that it held both of these key support levels here at 250, and now she's trying to run up here. So when we look on our four-hour chart here, well, we want to come right into this area here. So you're looking at that 200 SMA here. You're basically looking at 2.64, and then we have your 50 SMA here sitting at 2.65. So really, if you look at the 2.66 area here, that's what you need to really to close up to get up higher, okay? So, and again, if you can, then remember, you have a gap up here on your four-hour chart here at 2.70, and then we have your fill here uh, sitting at uh, a 2.74. So this here, once it gets up about that 2.66, this is where it'll be headed real quick like, and then right, boom, to try to fill that gap and then possibly higher there, okay? So let's just see what we can uh, do here, like on your hourly chart here. Double top tells me, okay, as soon as you get that double top there, boom, sell. That's got to go short. And now here we have a nice double bottom action again here. And now it looks like it just wants to run on up here. So if you look at this on hourly here, you could you could make a case for a left shoulder's head and then the right shoulder here. But you really need to get right here. See, there's that 2.65 right there. Really, if you get above 2.67, then we can start notching it all the way on up here possible retest uh, to the 2.86. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Well, your weekly is still, uh, I don't know, looking pretty good here now, okay? So basically what you are here is you're above that uh, uh, 2.65 here. Natty gas right now, uh, real time is sitting at 2.64, so you're, you're sitting right there, right on it. Okay, on your 21 day, it's holding that day. If you can just keep on going flat, then we got to go to that target right there at sitting at that 2.86. Uh, uh, now here on your daily chart here, well, you know, here we go. We had a really nice sell down. This is your double bottom right here. 2.45 right there, 2.42, close the back above here. Really nice double bottom here. But then again, when it ran up, see, 2.86 uh, 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 right there, 2.86. See, there's your double top again, okay? And then lower high and then boom, sold right on down. So right now what we wanna do is we wanna look to this area right here. This is all jammed up. Look at just 2.66. Um, there's no sense trying to pick out each individual little one. They're all just pretty much sideways. You need to get above that 2.66 and then their target is this gap at 2.708 and then your fill sitting at 2.735, you, you know, they're high and then you're lower on that candle and then you can do a retest here of this 2.86. And then possible, you know, if you can close above, then there's your target uh, right there. Um, setting that basically 3.02. Uh, above that, you know, you got your 200 SMA here, but we're not going to worry about that. We got to get through all this resistance first and then this gap and this fill before you can uh, go higher. All right. I'll have more for you on the crude and natural gas here uh, after the pit close there today. And uh, thanks for watching.